Hey everybody, and I'm Jolay. Now today, I want to talk about spirits and possession. Now I would like to know if you guys think that a person can be possessed by an evil spirit and that evil spirit can cause them to commit murder, abuse, sodomy, hate crimes, rape. Do you think that a person can be possessed by an evil spirit and caused to commit these crimes? Now, and are, and are, do you even believe in spirits or evil spirits or do you think these people just want to do this type of stuff because that's what they want to do in their own minds, okay? Now, what would cause someone to to stab someone to death numerous times to decapitate someone like the guy did on the bus in Canada? What would cause someone to do that? Now, clearly he was insane, but why was he insane? Now, I don't expect you to know the answer why this particular man was insane, but could he have been possessed by demons? And do you believe in demons? Now, what caused the minister to kill his wife and put her in the freezer, put her in the freezer, her body in the freezer for four years and his daughter finally told. He'd been molesting his daughter and um, I think he started molesting her at the age of 11 and his wife kicked him out. He went back that night, his daughter let him in her window, he killed the wife and put her in the freezer. And this is a, a preacher. And I'm not saying all preachers and ministers are bad but clearly something was wrong with this man he was possessed he was was he possessed was he just crazy and bad and evil now on his own now what causes now here's another one what causes this is a this is a badge this is a fake badge a cop badge what causes a policeman to taser someone to death that's what I want to know. Now, do you think that policeman was possessed or was that just the hatred that he held in his heart? What causes a policeman to taser someone that's fallen off a bridge and taser them 19 times? And uh, what causes a policeman to taser a blonde lady who has cancer and diabetes? What causes a policeman to do that? Now, were these policemen possessed? What caused the policeman to knock the guy off his bike in New York City? Was he possessed? What caused that? What caused all the things that have happened? Now, recently, it's some unexplainable acts in the news and it's been like that but it's getting worse so are these people possessed are these people possessed why would you decapitate someone why would you kill your wife and put her in the freezer why would you taser a man a, a man in handcuffs to death. Why would you taser a black lady, a, a 49 year old lady? And I'm not saying the fact that she was black because, but she was. And I, I have said things that people have been in all, all different races have been involved in these stories that I'm talking about. But the fact of the matter is, this lady was black and she was tasered. Now, uh, the young man in Louisiana, he was a black male, 21 years old. He was tasered to death while handcuffed. The young man, the 16-year-old man, and I believe it was Ozark. Ozark, he was white. Now, he was tasered 19 times. Okay, what would cause someone, a cop, to do something like that? And what would cause the man who decapitated the the 22 year old man on the Canadian bus why 
Why did he do this? Do you believe he was possessed? Do you believe these people get possessed by spirits and evil spirits and they just do it because they have no control? Or do you believe that they're in total control? And, and why is this rope around my neck? <clears throat> this rope represents strangling someone. Okay, what would cause someone to strangle a person would they be possessed that they had so much hate and anger that they would strangle someone to death so they would end their life what would cause someone to put a noose around someone's neck and hang them now I can't tie a noose I never knew how to tie a noose and I don't want to know but what would cause that was that just the hatred in their heart or was that a possession of an evil spirit now these things I have to ask, I mean, are there aliens walking around taking over people's bodies? Or is it the devil, if you believe in the devil, if you believe in spirits, if you believe in nothing, what do you think? Now, these are the aliens, and this is the demons, okay, representation. Now, this kind of reminds me of, you know, the movie Fallen with Denzel Washington. There's another movie, and I'll find out the name of it later and put it in annotations but sometimes they were saying that people get possessed by spirits and demons and do these crazy things do you believe that or do you believe these people that commit these heinous acts are just angry and hate life and hate living and hate people now another thing do you believe that they could be programmed by all these movies that come out and that, that people are desensitized and they don't care anymore and life is just basically, life is like a throwaway? Um, or is it due to the video games and all the killing in the video games? Now, give me some feedback. And um, you guys, it's the weekend. It's the weekend and everybody goes out to have fun. So be careful wherever you are because no matter where you are at any given time, you have to always watch your back, okay? So be careful and I will talk to you guys next time. I just had to ask this question and get it out because it's kind of like weighing heavy on my mind. It's just so much, it's so much sadness and and the, uh, is I'm just stressed out okay I'm stressed out about all the things that's going on in the world so everybody I smile now and it's hard to smile with these type of things going on but I love you guys and I'll see you next time bye